the month of March is almost upon us, and I'm taking this chance to have a look forward to find the best RPG games that are releasing on Steam in the month of March. There's a diverse group here from tactical to action to wacky and anything else in between. My name is Beggles and I do gaming reviews and previews and if you like this video, you can show your support by subscribing. It's completely free and helps us out. The first RPG that we're going to look into is the biggest budget and a game that I have a couple of videos on my channels about. It's called Dragon's Dogma 2. This action RPG is based in an immersive world in which you'll be working alongside companions, completing quests and unlocking a storyline full of conspiracy, fantasy elements and a real cool looking dragon involved. Potentially one of the better game releases of this year, Dragon's Dogma 2 will be a game for fans that love epic, large scale action RPG games. The next game on the list is the one that I am most intrigued by, it's called The Thaumaturge and is a heavily story driven RPG game set in 20th century Warsaw. A Thaumaturge is a bit like a magical investigator, someone that can look into people and determine through investigation whether or not they have some mysterious beings called salutors involved. They're kind of like demons. This game looks to have very high production value and a lot of interesting choice and scenes of dialogue to be watching. I'm intrigued by the card based action sequences and also to the depth of the investigation. There is no doubt that the cutscenes that we have seen in the trailer look fantastic and I think this might be a game that gets some awards for its writing and narrative. The Thaumaturge releases on the 5th of March and promises to be a very unique RPG game. This next RPG game falls into that quirky category that we talked about at the start. It's called The Brew Barons and sets place in this tranquil world in which there are some corrupt pirates that are forcing their monopoly upon the lands with their sale of brew. So being the nice local citizens that you are, you want to do something about it. And the best way to do that is by creating your own planes that you're going to use to protect the lands, but then also start to create your own brew to sell, to take away their power and block the monopoly. It's a tale as old as time. What I really like about the Brew Barons is that there seems to be a mixture of play here from action scenes in which you'll be fighting other planes to these brew simulator situations and even the ability to be flying around in your plane hunting for materials i assume there's going to be a bunch of different recipes that you're going to be fermenting and whilst this is a quirky project i think the quality of art here is actually quite good so if it plays well this could well be a cult classic and something very different to the other rpgs in this video zoria age of shattering is a tactical rpg and a game that i've been following on twitter for quite some time it's set within the expansive fantasy world of Zoria and something that becomes really apparent quite quickly with this game is that there is a lot of depth here and that this will be a title for those players that love to really get involved and learn everything they can about a system. As I mentioned, it's set inside the world of Zoria which has fallen prey to some pretty evil looking demonic creatures. They are big, they are bad, they are quite impressive in design. This is a single player in which you take your squad of four and explore your way through this world to unlock the storyline. For those new to the tactical genre, it is turn-based and a game in which you get the time to think your way through. So there's a lot of strategy involved here. There's crafting, there's character upgrades, there's talking to people to try and work out what you need to do next. I'd say Zoria Age of Shattering is perhaps one of the better looking tactical RPG games releasing this year. So if you're a fan of that genre, I'd be checking it out on the 8th of March. On a previous video I did about the best games coming out in March, I got a comment that complained that I hadn't included Horizon Forbidden West, the complete edition. So I thought I'd better put it in here. It's releasing on the 22nd of March, and I'm sure as you're all aware, it's published by PlayStation. In this action RPG game, you join Alloy as she leads her way to a new frontier and fights a bunch of new robots and other enemies. This game takes place in a world in which the land is dying, there are storms, there is a bunch of other things going on, and the one thing that's always been known about Horizon games is that it's visually quite stunning. This release involves the bonus content and the Burning Shores expansion as well, and perhaps is a good chance to get stuck into a series that has predominantly been on the PlayStation in the past. I really love the look of the next game, it's called Goblin Stone, and whilst it is a strategy RPG, there are roguelike and turn-based elements here, so it might not be as story-driven as some of the other games. Goblin Stone is set within a world in which goblins have been hunted by just about everything to near extinction. So your job's going to be to save them and bring them back from the brink of extinction to a place in which they can thrive and take on all the challenges set within a world in which 
killing and taking goblins is kind of a pretty profitable enterprise. This is a very cute and creative game in which you will need to build your goblin party by mixing classes and then set them off to attack and defeat all these different enemies and there's over 25 epic bosses to fight as well. There's a goblin lair that you're going to need to upgrade and build and in true roguelike fashion with every death brings more people or goblins to your lair. I think this game could be a little bit of fun releasing on the 12th of March. Let's talk quickly about Crown Wars The Black Prince, a game releasing on the 15th of March and primarily a single player turn-based strategy game. Set within a world in which knights and brigands have run rampant through the land, you will be developing your own armies and then playing through some pretty interesting looking tactic based fighting sequences to try and get rid of them. With six different playable classes and the ability to train up to 32 companions, this game looks to primarily focus on the battles and could be an interesting game to check out. When looking at Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley, it's no doubt that this game is the most wholesome in the video. This musical adventure RPG game sets you to task restoring harmony and basically trying to get the land back as close to nature as you can. There are some pretty quirky looking scenes and it's hard to go past the quality of art in terms of the visuals and also the music. As this is a musical adventure game, you can expect the audio to be top notch. You will be attempting to fight off the park keeper and get rid of his horrible parks, utilizing a bit of stealth and some help from friends along the way. I always feel with games like Snufkin that you will know very quickly when you're looking at this video whether this is a game that you will like. Don't be expecting too much action or tension, but more so a relaxing game to experience. The next game on the list surprised me a little bit. It's called Kingdom The Blood, and it's based on the Netflix show called Kingdom, which is a Korean action show about zombies. I've actually seen it, and it's pretty cool. This RPG is going to be very much action based and there is a lot of violence involved. Zombies will be attacking in large hordes very quickly and you'll need to utilize your fighting mechanics to save the day. I'm skeptical about how in depth the gameplay is going to be here and also the storyline, but for people that love the TV show, it might be one to keep an eye out for. I'm also really curious about how the boss fights are going to be. The last game we're going to have a look at is quite interesting in terms of its game design. It's called Nine Days and is an open world action game. It's set on the premise that the world is about to be annihilated so that we can start things anew. But you have the chance to defend the world. So you have nine days to explore this world, picking up new skills, developing new spells and ability. So on the ninth day, you are prepared to defend the world from oblivion. I put nine days as a game that I'm definitely waiting for reviews before I would jump in and purchase. As with its unique game style and visuals, it could be great or it could be one of those games that misses a mark. So this is on the sit and watch list for me. If you're still watching this video, I appreciate it. And you can help out by subscribing, liking or leaving a comment. All free things you can do to help the channel. If you're interested in another video similar to this, I will add in the best roguelike games coming out in March so that you can find some other games that you might be interested in playing on Steam next month.